Hello everyone, this is Jin Teacher again from Reading Town. Let's look at today's article. Our article today is from cat cafes to small zoos. So we see an interesting pairing here, a cafe and a zoo. Cafe is usually where people go to relax, kind of quietly drink their coffees and meet with people. And we know what zoos are. Zoos are where you go to see all kinds of different animals. So here from cat cafes, so cafes where cats are allowed. So we see that in Korea, we see a lot of uh, pet cafes like dog cafes and even cat cafes and small zoos. So let's see what the connection is all about. So our paragraph says the pet industry is enjoying a boom in Korea. So industry meaning the business surrounding uh, pets and enjoying a boom in Korea. What do you think a boom means? Do you think boom means getting smaller? No, boom, kind of like what it sounds like, is an explosion, meaning it's getting bigger in popularity. It's getting more popular. So enjoying a boom in Korea. Since we have become an aging society and the number of single households has skyrocketed, more and more people are raising pets as family members. So this sentence is saying we've become an aging society. Society means uh, our community, our city. Uh, it's becoming an aging society, meaning people are getting older and older. Uh, and the number of single households has skyrocketed. Single households meaning not a lot of children. Homes where there are no kids or homes where there's only one or two children. Okay, so single households meaning very small families. The number of small families has skyrocketed. So if you think about a rocket going up, that means it's rising. So more and more people are raising pets as family members. So maybe you have a pet that you consider as a family member, a dog or a cat. Okay, so living with pets can definitely be an enjoyable experience as doing so can make us healthier and happier. So this is some of the benefits. Uh, having a pet can make us happier or healthier. However, some people are unable to keep pets because of their long working hours, tight budgets and cramped living spaces. So there's some reasons why people cannot have pets. Some of the reasons they work too long. Uh, tight budgets, meaning that they don't have a lot of money to spare and cramped living spaces. Maybe they live in a very small place, a small house or an apartment, and they cannot afford or have uh, an animal living with them. So there's some reasons why even though it's beneficial for our health, can make us happier. Some people just can't uh, have a pet at home. But these problems were partly solved by the opening of cat cafes. So because people may not have space, they might not have the time, uh, there are cafes that are opening up and they are booming in Korea. A cat cafe is a place where customers can watch and play with cats while drinking coffee or juice. So customers are the people who go there who want to pay and get something, uh, the consumers, the customers, so they can go there and drink coffee while playing with their cats. The world's first ever cat cafe opened in Taipei in 1998. Taipei is the capital city of Taiwan uh, and there in 1998 they opened the first cat cafe. It soon attracted a huge number of people and became a famous tourist destination. So a lot of people all over the world, they were very interested, they were fascinated. So they would go there as tourists and destination means the place that they want to be or the final place that you want to go. So a lot of people from all over the world visited this cat cafe in Taipei. Now we can see a lot of cat cafes all over the world. Interestingly, many aren't just mere cat cafes anymore and have developed into so-called small zoos. So it started off as a cat cafe. Now over the years, people aren't just bringing cats. They're bringing all kinds of animals, making it seem like a zoo. So what kind of animals can we see? You can meet a lot of animals in these cafes, including snakes, owls, meerkats, raccoons, chinchillas, and foxes. So you can see a lot of different kinds of animals. One time I was at a cafe and I actually saw a monkey, uh, which was quite interesting. So yes, in these cafes, you can see all kinds of different animals. Uh, chinchillas, meerkats. Uh, chinchillas are kind of like a squirrel looking animal. They're very puffy and have very soft fur. Meerkats, you can find them uh, all over the savannas in Africa. Um, they have these big round eyes. You can uh, look up the images online. Uh, these are animals that we may normally not see in a cafe like snakes, but now because they're turning into more of small zoos, people are bringing all kinds of animals. They're welcomed. So maybe the next time you go to a cafe, you might see all kinds of animals like I did, a chimpanzee or some kind of monkey or a snake or a chinchilla, raccoon, meerkats. All kinds of animals are being brought to these cafes. Pretty interesting. Huh? Let's look at our questions for today. Uh, here we see a picture of a cat play tower. This is designed so that cats can run up and down and you might see this in a cat cafe. 
Uh, here, let's look at our first sentence. Why do more and more people raise pets as families? So we talked about it. Uh, families are not as big as they used to be, so single households. Since we have become an or a, what kind of society? And the number of single households has skyrocketed, gone up. So are people getting younger? Mm -mm. People are getting older, so an aging society. So as a result, more and more people are having pets as family members. Let's look at number B. Uh, why are some people unable to keep pets? So we talked about this too, because of their long something, tight budgets, meaning not a lot of money to spare, and cramped living spaces. So what are your mom and dad doing? What are your teachers doing? What are people doing? They are working for a lot of hours. So long working hours. So because they are not home a lot and they cannot take care of their pets, that's why they are not able to raise pets at home. Last question, when and where did the world's first ever cat cafe open? So once again, it's asking you a specific question. Do you remember? The world's first ever cat cafe opened where and when? Or when and where? So we know that it was in 1998 in Taipei, the capital city of Taiwan. So in 1998 in Taipei, that was the first ever cat cafe. So here, it probably looks something like that. Right? People sitting around and only cats, people drinking coffee, and people from all over the world went over there because it was a tourist destination. So let's look at uh, the fill in the blank portion of our article today. Uh, it says the pet industry is enjoying a something in Korea. Is it going down? Is it kind of staying the same? Or is it skyrocketing? If it's skyrocketing, then it is booming. So it's enjoying a boom in Korea. So that means it's getting very popular. Business is good. Uh, let's look at B. Living with pets can definitely be an enjoyable what? Enjoyable time? Enjoyable, that's right, enjoyable experience. It's causing memories or creating memories, something that is very pleasant. That's an enjoyable experience. Let's look at the last sentence. It soon attracted a huge number of people and became a famous, we talked about this, a place that people want to go. Uh, so if you use your GPS and you finally arrive to where you put in, then it says you've reached your destination. So this one is a tourist destination. Tourists are people from all over the world who go and a destination is the place that they want to be at. So as we think about today's article about pet cafes and zoos, more and more people are bringing all kinds of animals into pet cafes. So the next time you go to a cafe, uh, look around you, you might see some animals that you haven't seen before or haven't expected. So uh, looking at today's article, let's remember these words, tourist destination, boom, experience, and let's continue to use these words. And as we go to a cafe, keep your eyes open. All right, I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.